Breaking news, some people are being allowed to return home in Boulder tonight. They were among the nearly 20,000 people told to evacuate immediately after a fire sparked near the Boulder Flatirons this afternoon. The fire sparked just after two and with high winds, it quickly spread, sending an enormous smoke plume into the sky. Good evening, I'm Dylan Thomas. Thanks for joining us here on CBS 4 and also streaming on CBS News Colorado. Now here's a look at where those evacuations are still in place. You can also see the fire perimeter on this map here. The evacuation area spans from the Flatirons over to US 36 and from Baseline Road all the way down to El Dorado Springs. Now that includes El Dorado Springs, Table Mesa, Highland Park and Martin Acres neighborhoods. Around 8,000 homes are inside that evacuation zone and and people who are still displaced are being told to go to the East Boulder Community Center. Now that's on Sioux Drive. People can go there for any resources that they may need, including a place to stay for the night. Now let's get straight to Marissa Armas live at the NCAR Laboratory tonight with the latest on the crucial firefight. Marissa, what do we know right now? Well, Dylan, we've been out here all afternoon and crews are still out here battling this fire. Now, we're no longer seeing those large flames that we saw earlier today. We are seeing a couple of hot spots. Now, the good news tonight is that so far no structures have burned. We also learned, as you mentioned, some of those residents are going to be able to go back into their homes. But just to be clear, that doesn't include these homeowners who are closer to the burn line here in the Table Mesa area. It also doesn't include those who are closer to the El Dorado Canyon area. Now, the last update that we got was around 7 p.m. from fire officials. They tell us that while the fire has burned about 122 acres, they've been able to control it pretty well. The Wildland Division Chief said that the fire started down in the Bear Creek drainage, moved uphill, and then caught on the ridge tops with some winds, which moved it south. The chief also tells us that a big success for them today was the fact that last spring, the city of Boulder and fire crews actually trained here in this Table Mesa neighborhood for situations like this. And so all those resources came in, knew exactly what they needed to do, pulled their hose lines, went into a structured defensive posture, and had everything lined out in moments. Tonight, the fire crews are working on moving the fire towards trails and roads to gain access to it to hopefully mop it up and put it out. The fire chief also told us that when the fire started, they really had to determine where the immediate threat was, and they decided that it was here at these homes. And this is really where they decided to put most of their resources today. In Boulder, Marissa Adamas covering Colorado First. Marissa, thanks. Now, the Boulder County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help in figuring out what started this fire. If you were on or near the trail, south of NCAR around the time the fire started, which was 2 p.m., and saw anything unusual, you're asked to call investigators at 720-564-2679. You can see just how quickly people were rushing to evacuate. Look at this long line right here that Mercer Armas tweeted out. The cars were heading out of the evacuation zone this afternoon. This view is very similar to the scene that we saw just a matter of months ago as people scrambled to escape the Marshall Fire. Many who live in this area were evacuated that day as well. Any residents feeling symptoms of the post-traumatic stress from the Marshall Fire or any other of our local fires are encouraged to call the Colorado Mental Health Crisis Line at the number on your screen. That's 1-844-493-8255. There are some road closures in that area still at this hour to keep the roads clear and make it easy for crews to be able to get to the fire scene. Here's what's closed so far. El Dorado Springs Drive, northbound Highway 93 from Highway 128, Table Mesa Drive, west of Broadway, and Lehigh Street at Bear Mountain Drive. A number of smaller fires also sparked amid those dry and windy conditions today.